Hello everyone, my name of course is Artemidge, and welcome to day 10 of Vita, meaning we're officially a third of the way through. Go us! Back in November of 2017, during the official Extra Life date, I was at another charity event called Hammerthon here in Hamilton, where we played tabletop games for nearly 24 hours. I think we left at like 4 a.m. And while I was there, my bike got stolen. Which I was extra cranky about because I had just gotten it fully repaired too. Now I finally look at replacing it with a new bike yesterday. So I go to work, Walmart, and I decide I've grown up with bikes that are not as good as the one that I last had. I'm sure I can handle this fine. There's something to be said for getting what you pay for. When I bought that last bike in 2010, I spent about $600 and change on it. And that's not a huge cost for a decent bike. If you really look, there are bikes out there that will cost as much as some cars. Now those ones are meant for incredible performance on streets and are made of generally titanium, meaning they're so light that you can take it by two fingers and just hold it right up. Whereas this was a good, heavy frame bike meant for trail. Now, I mostly rode it on the road. And especially since getting Shadow, I don't ride too much for leisure anymore, so because it's time I could be spending exercising him, and he's not great at following the bike yet. I haven't tried that often just because I'm worried about getting hurt. So I was not expecting something that could really hold up to what I got before. But, oh my god, was what I got ever a Polish turd. This is a road bike from Walmart with 27 and a half inch wheels, which is rather standard for something of adult size. The frame belies that entirely. Now the seat is not very adjustable, so my knees were nearly in my chest and I could not get a full extension of my legs while pedaling, which is not good for a bike that's really wasted energy. So I was cramping from that. The handlebars were also the racing bars where it comes around with grips that you hold like this in front, and that's where the brakes were. There weren't the typical ones that I'm used to where they had handlebars like that, where there were also ones in the part where you're holding it like this. It really screws up your balance, but you had to put your hands there to shift. So here I am holding the bars like this and trying to get forward so I'm getting full extension and keeping my aerodynamic levels where I'm getting appropriate power output, but I am so far forward, it's throwing my balance way off and there's no way to compensate for that. Needless to say, this bike is going to go back to the store. I'm going to be looking at one closer to the amount I was spending before, though it will probably be closer to $800 because that was nearly a decade ago. After tax, I paid about $280, and I definitely would have been better off just going with at least double the amount to find something. So until next time, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll talk to you soon. He can't make it rain, shit, I can't complain. Serving you is vicious, five course dishes. Polish up your mug until I get three wishes. Adjusting your teeth, aligning your feet. Bicycle scars, then I rinse and repeat. Bruising daily like Matt Maley. Power glove smack, you extinct like Paley. <laughs>